Really important thing for you guys to know with this gripping system is the gripping system works standing. It works from butterfly guard. It works from Z guard. It works from close guard. Once you get the hang of the gripping system, you can start changing your guards. So don't think that you have to just do it from butterfly guard. Start with Z guard, start with close guard. It all works the same thing. The most important thing is how you control the arms. If you control the arms, then your legs are free to start doing what they want. I'll show you some examples of how I change position with this gripping system. If I have the butterfly guard here, and I go to the arm drag position, okay, or the fishing pole, what I do now, if I want to go to Z guard, I hip escape out a little bit, I kick my leg on the outside, and I bring my knee on the inside here. Okay, if I have the two on one position from here and I go to this spot here, as long as this is super tight here so he can't bring his elbow on the inside, as long as this is like that, now I've got freedom to start changing around. Okay, now I can just hip escape out, bring the knee through here to a Z guard. I can bring it through here to, I don't even know what the name of this is, but I use it a lot. I bring it across here so I can change his positions. I might even just hold his arm here and come towards his back, over under, double unders from the back, turn him over. As you can see, as long as the grips are good, you can turn him over. Close guard. Now, I never use close guard. One, I've got short legs and they're stocky. Two, I had a knee injury, so I don't like using it. But if I was to use close guard, we're in this position here. Two on one, bring it across here. Open up, grab the armpit. Hip escape out, take his back. Choke him, eye gouge. There's so many different things I can use that. So make sure that work the gripping system so well that you can take people down, you can change the guard position for where you want to go, and you can win.